for Courtney Green on the whistle tonight. Driving to the lane, Tony Carr, no. <laughs> and Villanova up top, Watson. Offensive rebound. There's a guy who definitely can fill it up. Last two games he's had 30 and 20 and he gets a bucket. He is, the ball moved and defense got spaced out. Defense is spaced out, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. And an ant. Garner can certainly knock him down. He's hit 49 of them. This time it'll be Tony Carr. Glenn Watson. All set. Nice shot fake. And he won his pregame. Shoot, I need more than yoga for that. Anton Gill leading score. Nebraska's team's been built on a few transfers, one of them Palmer to Watson. Oh, he thought about a 28-footer. He settles for a 12-footer. Watkins fading away. That's a tough shot. He had to get a new shirt, new tie as well, but they hooked him up. Jumper. It's still not a bad thing to attack Mike Watkins. You do want to Mike Watt make Mike Watt. Now halfway through the first. Three-pointer down from at Rec Hall here at Penn State. It's fantastic. It is exciting it's intense, to watch. man. Up ahead, Lamar Stevens. Play even if it's not going to be to score the basketball. He's down inside on the block, but this is coming from. But it's going to be easy to help off and stop Watkins. Well, the students behind us who are breathing down our neck, by the way, they were wondering the same thing. Allen this time with a teardrop. Cows have to go someplace. Carr, beautiful. That doesn't mean just passing the ball. I mean, look, he's finding everybody. He's getting everybody great looks. Let him defend. You have to make them defend action. That's too easy. Misses the three. He has 12 points. Once again, getting the ball. Deep. Been there for Penn State. There were so many unknowns about this Nebraska team coming into the season. Great high-level basketball team, but not playing like it tonight. Absolutely, with the three of the top four scores being transfers, as you were alluding to. Tony's car sharing the basketball. His teammates have responded. Double team, extra pass. Good sequence. This man has scored their last five Copeland. He'll try to make it seven in a row, and he gets a friendly back. This time, Carr will hoist it for seven. Got swiped away as he was looking for Watkins. That is a very, very All Friday night, and they're always fantastic. And then a football game Saturday. It is hard to beat Copeland. And Copeland with a finish. Nebraska trying to chip away. Palmer, stop and pop. Got it. He's going to find some opportunities. It's only his first field goal tonight, Johnny. He had three free throws before that. Opportunities. Look for three-point opportunities to open up when Mike Watkins is in the game. Off the bounce. Stevens now has 18 good shots. So you have to be able to avoid those things and work towards one common goal. Wow, strong. You saw Tanner Borkhart did not think he touched that ball on the cylinder, but that's the call. Ten-point lead for the Nittany Lions. They want more out of Stevens. I'm so interested in something I knew nothing about. I think, wow. Kind of story, yeah. kind of reason why a guy is who he is. And some of the stories you've heard. Yeah, no. Uh, and Lamont Simpson exchanging some words during the break. Isaiah Rowe. Kick certain guys to be able to play multiple positions. And I think that's going to be part of the challenge. Playing multiple. Also on that last possession, Watkins got his fourth straight double-double for Penn State, and so they'll keep playing. Deep three, and that's a... Oh, but right there, who else? Lamar Steven. Fading away. They haven't done that. It's given them fits. Ever since Nebraska fell into it, and they're such a weapon. When you have a five that can space out, set good ball screens, handle the ball, and attack. Carr stepping into a three, but it was flat. How about Boston's nice crossover by Watson? To play tight game after tight game, and here we go again. And that's 
three. That's what they're looking for. It is Gill. It. Carr. Yes. Got it. I don't even think he got it off. Either way, he missed it. And Penn State escapes in overtime.